Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, this is going to be a pretty funny video because it's all over the place. It snowed, it rained, the shelter changed a few times, so there's going to be a lot of stills, and I have no idea how I'm going to edit this together, but I'm just going to give you a look at what I got going before it gets too dark. I've got all day tomorrow, as long as I feel like being out here. I've got a couple other videos planned, um, so I have some content throughout the week for you guys, so stay tuned. And here, check this out. This is what... I got going. Like I said, it's changed a few times. Just two tarps. So, in the process of getting more pine uh for underneath me i'm just going to be using a wool blanket tonight and a small that little pad so that and a wool blanket supposed to get right around freezing um it snowed quite a bit early a lot of it's melted off i've got some shots uh, of that i'll probably put in randomly through this conversation Just a couple tarps and some 550 cord. I wasn't really planning on doing like an adventure video. That's why I haven't really gone through like me setting this up. I have some smaller um, informational videos I wanted to do tomorrow and some local plants and stuff like that. So that's it. Just want to get some content in there. I'm not sure I'm going to edit all this together, but there'll be more tonight. Uh, I'll get cooking and uh, definitely some in the morning. I like the morning videos for some reason, making breakfast and just all like bleh. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. Not sure what you can see um, pretty dark out but the fire's going pretty good it's going real good um, so I'm gonna call it a night we just got done eating some of the stills came out really crummy um, I literally think it was heat the heat coming off this thing was ridiculous I can't explain why they were blurry uh, the smoke wasn't blowing this way Usually you can see the smoke in the photos. So I'm gonna call it a night, kick around for a little bit, just relax. Listen to the fire, make weird noises. And uh, we'll get back to you in the morning. We'll do uh, the usual morning routine video, which I enjoy, like I said. And then later in the morning, I'm gonna do a couple of uh, videos on some useful plants that are right over here so all right good night we'll see you in the morning good morning sun's just coming up there's a moon poking through over there didn't sleep that great um, like I said, I just did the wool on that really thin mat on some pine. Felt a little bit of cool coldness from the ground. Not much. I mean, nothing detrimental. But what got me was that I chose to sleep in my boots. Because I was in the wool blanket, I didn't want my feet just hanging out the end. 
and first that made me uncomfortable um the boots are really great there's some newer north face gore-tex boots that i got and uh all day long my feet were just perfect and i even stepped down in the water um as you saw getting water dry 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 but i think somewhere in the night i must have uh, created some moisture with sweat or just whatever for my feet and they got a little bit of wet on the inside just damp and then they got cold so with the ground and the cold feet i didn't sleep real well i was up tending the fire a lot uh, what i'm gonna do is make some coffee in my new press i'll show you that and i've got some more banana oatmeal but i'm adding some goodies in there so i'll show you some of that so i hope you can see me all right water's boiling now now this is water out of that little creek and because of the altitude i'm at water boils at a lower temperature so you can't just bring it to a rolling boil and call it good. You have to actually let it hard boil for, I think it's like five minutes or something. It's just a good idea to let it boil for a little bit longer because of the altitude. This is let's see, a little Stanley coffee press. I still got some grounds in there. I bought this. You can actually boil the water right in here. The only thing I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in, in this, and I still have to come up, I think I'm gonna end up spending a little money on this, like a complete canteen cook kitchen set. I think I'm gonna get one for Pathfinder School, um, Pathfinder store. Cause I'm using like, I've got the military canteen, I've got my 40 ounce stainless bottle, now I've got this thing, and they all work great. But I'm adding weight, and I really need to be reducing weight. So I think I'm gonna come up with just a single kit. But anyway, you got this deal, and try to keep you in camera this whole time. You got some coffee from home. There's a little bit left over of an older uh, deal. It's just enough. So you just throw the coffee straight in. And then you try not to burn your hands. <laughs> so you throw the coffee straight in, Pour your hot water in with it and hope you don't spill that too. You leave enough for your oatmeal. Professional bushcraft stir. Just give it a couple of stirs. And then I let it sit for a couple minutes. All right, so once you let it sit in there for a little while, what you got is uh, basically a press you got a filter in the bottom and you go ahead and you just like the name suggests you just kind of press it down in there and that filters the grounds you still get this like fluff but you don't have any of the grounds all the grounds are separated down in the bottom and it came with this little pour lid and there you go, man, you got coffee. I gotta rinse out my coffee cup. That's that. But before I rinse out my coffee cup, I wanna make sure I had enough for my oatmeal. I got that same oatmeal. I actually got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> like, look at this one. Let's see, let's do them the right side up so you can read them too. Uh, chocolate raspberry oatmeal. These were only $2.50. And usually, like I said, I usually, blueberry oatmeal. I usually just do like the little instant oatmeal packs, you know, and they're cheaper, but you get a lot more out of this. They're more convenient. They stay forever. I mean, like if you wanted to store some like emergency food, these are good till 2023. Strawberry. We're going to do the banana again because I really liked it. And what I also got for snacking on is I got some granola, you know, with like almonds and raisins in it. I think I'm going to throw some granola in it. And I got this random like topping it's like i don't know cream cheese or vanilla like frosting i'm gonna throw that in there too so we're gonna have a whole crazy oatmeal thing i didn't measure again like usual so oh and i got some left to clean up my stupid cuff
hot hot all right so i'm gonna let that soak a little bit and then add the granola and i'll tell you how it is all right i warmed this little topping thing up near the fire by the way i so far so good on the mora liking it i used it for everything yesterday and it did everything i asked of it oh i forgot to take out the do not eat thing too man i'm just winning this morning and i put too much wawa but i think that's gonna be okay because i'm gonna add the granola so for now we're gonna add this like i don't know if it was cream cheese or just vanilla and i don't know what you can see but we're gonna go ahead and just get some of that in there Cause why not man so we got some vanilla slash maybe cream cheese frosting and the old granola which is really good we got like two giant five pound packs of stuff little granola corn cream there mm -hmm. breakfast and champions got the old titanium yuko Go ahead and oh man, just like mom never made. Sorry, mom, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's looking super good. All right, like a legit cup of coffee. I think I made it really strong. Looks like mud, which is what I want in the morning. Then I got my little. You know, it was like a spice shaker and I just put powdered creamer in it. This happens to be like caramel, vanilla, coffee mate or something. So a really sweet breakfast, get some sugars in me. And like I said, uh, I don't have to rush out of here today, but because of the lack of sleep, I don't think I'm gonna win, you know, dilly dally. I wanted to get a couple of um, shorter videos done, one on some plants that are really useful that are right over here and one on why all my stuff has orange tags on it bet you you could guess but if you can't guess i'm gonna do just a really quick video and uh some examples that i've seen of why it's a good idea so we're gonna get a couple of those done today before we leave there'll be short videos that i can pop on during the week um i'll probably get this whatever this turns into because of the lack of filming yesterday up today or tomorrow and then i'll have a couple small ones for the week so let's see if you can see me i got all these like little lights everywhere and everything so cool i'm gonna eat my oatmeal and by the way it's very delicious it was delicious the first time <laughs> like all by itself it's pretty good but uh with that frosting and then the added granola like this is like a, a sack of, a sack of goodness or something but it'll definitely uh stick to your ribs so this is a perfect like get you going in the morning i'm already feeling like a million bucks just starting to eat this and smelling that coffee so i'm gonna finish this up I'm gonna drink that coffee. I'll probably do like an adios, a uh, quick video for this video, and then I'm gonna uh, see about getting a couple other small instructional videos done today. So.